speaking of Suge Knight, right? Because I got to ask you. If I don't, everybody going to be in my comments complaining. And you my guy, man. But I got to ask you. How did you feel when you found out that Suge Knight was messing with Left Eye? Because you said you was cool with Suge Knight and y'all had a friendship. So how did that make you feel when you found out he was messing with your girl? Nothing. Nothing. Dude, I'm solid. Like I told you, she was on, man, she was on the move. She was on the move. Am I aware of it? Is it relevant? Yeah, to a certain degree. And that degree is, I'm way too polished, man. I'm way too polished. I was in it. I was, I was in it. So, you know, I got the goo all on me. I got the jelly all on me. You know what I'm saying? But when you piped out like that, homie, <laughs> you step out of that. You step out of it. And you wipe down. You wipe off. That's what I did. That's what Unc did. I know this got to get to you, right? Because you've been telling me how cool you was with Suge Knight and Tupac and, you know, stuff like that. So hearing all these rumors years later that, you know, your girl at the time, Left Eye, was messing around with a Suge Knight or possibly messing around with a Tupac, does that get to you? It got to get to you as a human because you looked at these people as friends, right? <laughs> hey, 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 you, you roll one up, you pour another drink, and, and, and you, sit, you, you sit your ass down on your... $10,000 couch, and you look at your 120 inch screen, and you chuckle. And you chuckle. Like, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's what you do. You know, that's what you do. Because it, that was a time. That was a time, you know? That was a time. That was a, that was a, that was a, a, a play within a game. That was a play within a game. Those are players that played on that team, you know? And so uh, I look at it, man. Like I said, I sit, I sit on the couch and I grab me a stogie. I pour me up a cold Gatorade and draw up a play. So my thing is this, right? Me doing this interview with you, we spoke about how she was with Suge Knight, how she possibly was with Tupac. She burned down your house. You made a comment in this interview that she was messing up your image a little. What made you go back to her? After she did all this to you, nephew, it really wasn't going back to her. I never left. You feel me? Just because. I guess what made you stay with her? Because I was my friend, and I knew she was by herself. If the label ain't paying you, you from Philadelphia, your mom and them ain't there. Ain't nobody there. You got a couple cousins. She hadn't met Trina and them yet in the halfway house. Her and Chili was, was tight. Her and T-Boss was tight. But they didn't hang. So I can't leave this girl out here by herself. Knowing where she had just came from and what she been through and all that. That ain't up the makeup of me as a man. As me. Now the next man might or the next guy or the next woman. or But me, nah, I can't leave that. So it wasn't just going back. I really just, I ain't never leave. We ain't never leave. It was more so a wake-up call to, man, you better hurry up and whatever you're going to do good for, you better do good for because God says time to, to shake. And I was battling that. No, no, you know. No, no, no. See, I'm speaking in hindsight now. And I'm speaking from 30, 20 Almost 30 years ago. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and I'm still the same way, man. I'm not going to leave a friend. I'm not going to leave a friend that need help at that time. If I can help, for sure.